Hello Angie, Wind, and John. This is the video for our class on the 12th of December. Let's begin with some grammar. Um, acabas entendiéndoles. You eventually understand them. You eventually understand them. Uh, hablaba con ella cuando quería practicar inglés. I spoke with her when I wanted to practice English. Remember, control time or else it will control you. Then, speaking of time, we had various terms that we used to establish situations in time, including still and anymore, the positive and the negative. For example, uh, ¿Sigues con hambre? ¿Todavía tienes hambre? Are you still hungry? Are you still hungry? Um, ¿Sigues trabajando ahí? Are you still working there? Are you still working there? Ya, yeah, no. Ya no trabajo ahí. No. I don't work there anymore. No, I don't work there anymore. Uh, so still and anymore, opposite sides of the coin. And then we had already and yet. Uh, in similar in similar dynamic, opposite sides of the coin. A good example of already is basta ya. Enough already. Enough already. And um, todavía no he estado en Dubai. I haven't been to Dubai yet. I haven't been to Dubai yet. So we had still, anymore, already, and yet. I hope that explanation made sense. It certainly did in my head. <laughs> so, let's see. Next, we have vocabulary. Hacer la maleta is to pack one's bags. To pack one's bags. And then, uh, baja, as a person, is short. Short, whereas Corto o corta, as a person, is dim. Dim, the opposite of bright. Right? This is kind of dim. Now it's bright. Dim, bright. Okay. And lastly, some pronunciation. We have nature, nature, and patient. Patient, to be patient as a person. Whereas paciencia is patience. Patience. And um, that's it. All right. Thanks, guys. Sorry for the long video. Merry Christmas. And see you next time. Bye-bye.